this afternoon we're visiting our friend Paul McDonald here at Levitt Pictures. He's been here in the same location since 1883. Look at this floor and just look at the merchandise that they have here. It's absolutely unusual and amazing for a store to be here so long. There's Paul. Paul, how are you? Hey, Denise, how are you? I'm doing well, my friend. What's cooking this afternoon? Not much. Beautiful day, sunshine. Yeah. Can't complain if you can breathe wearing earth, but it's all right. Yeah. So, Paul, tell me, how long have you been here? 1883 is when the store was founded. Yeah. 1983-84 is when Paul crossed the Great Divide, <laughs> otherwise known as the Charles River. Fabulous. Um, so, I'm just looking around here because people just have to see this place. Well, it's truly store, amazing. Museum, yeah. yeah, it seems like part store, part museum. Yeah. So, Paul, it's been such a long time. What's the magic? You know what it is? You see it on TV on the, on the discount furniture stores. <laughs> Quality, service, and price. That's nice. I mean, there's no secret, secret formula. We offer an experience. We offer great products in a unique setting yeah. uh, with great service. A lot of people, they preach service, we walk the talk. Yeah. So, and a lot of the times it's not even service, it's just getting out of people's way yeah. and letting them meander and just kind of discover the store, you know? So, besides tobacco, yeah. um, what other things do you have? Well, I would say the universe of Levitt and Pierce is kind of comprised of maybe three or four different worlds. So we do have the tobacco world. Oh, does that smell good? It does uh, smell good. When it comes to tobacco, we just I don't get involved in the political aspect of it. Yes. But as you move down the store, we have the game section. Yeah. And it's not Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, it's not Pictionary. Traditional board games. That's our specialty. Mm -hmm. Chess is the main game. Yes. But backgammon, cribbage. Dominoes, Mahjong, Go. All right, if it hasn't been around a hundred years, we probably don't carry it. <laughs> Big cribbage players and, and chess players here in Harvard Square. Uh, you know, cribbage is more of a game in the Midwest, but chess. I mean, you know, chess is the game. Yeah. Um, sure. Can't wait till Obama Pants Plaza comes back, and when I make my night deposit at midnight, I see all those guys intensely playing chess at midnight yeah. with the little lights on the tables. Um, and then we have kind of the shaving world. Yeah. So and can we walk over to the yeah, shaving oh, world? Yeah, all the shaving world is like walking back in time. Oh, show me what you have. It's great. Right. So when you go to the shaving world, I mean, you have safety razors. You know, sometimes progress isn't progress. Mm -hmm. They've added a six blade. It's like crazy. Mm -hmm. There's been a revolt. People are going back to what worked great for their grandfather. One blade. One blade. One blade. Yeah, well, they don't need the bells and whistles, Denise. Yeah. And there's nothing like a shave brush. I mean, everybody should use a shave brush. I'm not saying you're going to love shaving, but I guarantee you will hate it less. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, a shave brush, a great shave soap. You know, like a puck of shave soap. Yeah. And a bowl. And a, look at that. I yeah. mean, yeah, I just don't get it. I don't, I don't know what's happened. I think it's advertising. I think if you show a pretty girl, and holding something, people are walking to Walgreens like a zombie. Mm -hmm. Nothing against Walgreens, but um, yeah, advertising. Americans yeah. fall for it, so. There you go. I think they've been brainwashed, so what happens is they have to unlearn all the things they've been. And you can teach them how to do that? Yes. All right. So tobacco, shaving, games, what else? Yeah. Well, you know, we have a gift set. Yes. I mean, if you want a hunting knife, you're not going to come here. But if you want a gentleman's pocket holder, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you want a pewter flask, you come to Levin and Pierce. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about pewter made in Sheffield, England. Okay, Very not nice. stainless steel. Well, there's an advantage to pewter. It doesn't alter taste, so steel will make something tinny. Mm -hmm. So it's not just beautiful, actually, it's practical. And you also have over here some soaps. Oh, well. Some soaps. We have great soaps. Yes. I mean, in the old days, we'd have uh, grads come in for their 50th commencement reunion, mm -hmm. and the wives would wait at the front door. I'm like, I, we haven't sold out all our testosterone, but we're like, you know, men and women now. So, yes. yes. Anyways, yeah, we Beautiful carry soap. small companies. Uh, soaps you probably wouldn't find just anywhere. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. Yeah. 
It's very unique. And just tell me about the memorabilia because you have lots of memorabilia. Well, I think in the old days we had a really tight connection with the athletic department. You would actually buy tickets to away games here at Lebanon Pierce. Mm -hmm. You'd buy train tickets here. Yeah. So we ended up with a lot of old photos and I mean, we actually posted a crew schedule on our front window up until probably the middle 90s mm -hmm. when Coach Harry Parker, God rest his soul, uh, I didn't see him for two weeks and I said, Coach Parker, you haven't posted the crew schedule. Email. <laughs> Another reason for me to hate technology. Oh, Except this is serving a purpose, so this, I shouldn't hate it. This, no, this is definitely serving but yeah, a yeah, purpose. Because we want, we want to bring your experience. For 50 years people. we post a crew schedule. The guys would come to our front window, huddle up, look at when they were going to row. Now they don't even have to get out of bed. So Yeah, but. they can just do it from their, their phones. Yeah. Well, my friend, you have lots and lots of people here in the store. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's good. I mean, they have. just get kind of drawn in. You know, they just see the the uniqueness of it all and like what is this place yeah. and I can't explain it in a couple of words yeah. you have to actually experience it you do so yeah we're not into the virtual world here no. we're into like coming in yep. taking a deep breath well the smell always wafts out onto the sidewalk yes well in the summer well, if beautiful. you haven't started don't start but I mean if you do we're here Thanks. but we're a lot more than just tobacco we were an experience. You are. So. And it's fabulous. Thank you Thank so much, you, Paul. Thanks for all you do. You're welcome.